We've been winding our way around the Ecuadorian Andes now for a couple of weeks. But rolling into Banos, we were instantly disappointed. Why, oh why, did we only plan for two days here? I mean, look at this place. With its hot and bothered volcanic landscape rising from a lush forested terrain, it's practically Mother Nature's red light district. Top it off with hip cafes, craft beer, and a solid culinary scene, and we're already proclaiming love. Oh, it is like butter. Uh, oh my gosh. This is so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh. <gasps> Didn't even share. Oh, God. God. You got me deep, Shrek. You got me deep. <laughs> Good morning. We are up early. We are in Banos, and there is way more to do than, than what we, we have time for. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's super crazy. This is our little hostel here. I'm not going to say the name because I'm going to butcher it. It's like Eco Touristico Albino. Albino or something. Rooms are pretty basic. Hey, Kate. Good morning, Kate. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> But the breakfast is like totally five star. It's amazing. You start off with this fruit and yogurt and granola, great coffee, and then she brings over beautiful bread and cheese and marmalade and eggs and yeah. So it's lovely. Great way to start the day. It is a good way to start the day. Here's our lovely little habitation. Kate has her own bunk bed. I mean, that's pretty throwback. <laughs> it's like a mini apartment, guys. <laughs> yeah, let's go find some adventures, huh? It's clear this is a popular tourist destination. There's tour operators on every corner with all sorts of things to ride, rappel down, swim under, and jump off of. Plenty of people come here for the hydrothermal baths that are the town's namesake, but we don't have time for waiting around. From the photos, this place looks pretty intense. It's like this little house on a tree with a swing. It like looks like the end of the world. I don't know, it looks scary. <laughs> or exciting, I guess not scary. On a clear day, this is what we would see. Although today I think it's going to quite literally look like the end of the world. Like we are swinging right into the clouds, into the heavens. So this should still be good, yeah? Maybe. I'm trying to be optimistic here. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is the exact view from that photo. <laughs> nice. The swing at the end of the world. It's easily one of the most hyped activities in Banos. It's so popular, now every hilltop resident is offering up a ride on their swing with billboards and signs to boot. I so badly want to just like take this belt off and leap. That would be a bad idea. That's fun. Your turn. Okay. But we decided to go with the classic Casa del Arbol. <laughs> nice. If for nothing else, the photo op alone. We are in the clouds. So this is kind of what it looks like on a clear day. And we've seen shots from this way where you can see the volcano and it's like epic. But look here. This is all natural and this looks much more natural. There's only one swing. They've obviously changed the place over the past few years, but the photos you see online just look so natural. And now it's still fun, but it's not. That looks so picture perfect. Yeah. Yeah, so they have a zip line. It's made from a tire and I don't know what else. And there's no instructions? It's no, like, hey. <laughs> no, there's instructions. Oh, there's yeah. no supervision. No supervision. It's, if yeah. the chair is hooked to the post, unhook it. There you go. Then hold the cords firmly, put your feet up, and let yourself go. 
I mean, that's like life advice. Yeah, okay, let's do it, guys. Three, two, one, go! That was awesome. <laughs> that was my best one yet. <laughs> <laughs> she tried to slow herself down. And I didn't. I no, did. her feet just dropped right there. You just can see. And I, my feet just dropped and then it, it like pushed me out. So Nikki wins on a technicality. Good job. No! <laughs> Dang, I was going to win. <laughs> my legs are too long. It's not fair. <laughs> Oh, God. oh my gosh, I am literally crying. <laughs> Good times. Worth the dollar, eh? <laughs> so this is a shootout. Kate's going for a redemption here. She's going to see if she can beat Jason. Whoever wins, takes on Nikki. Yep. It is. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> I saw that feet maneuver! <laughs> Did you catch that illegal foot maneuver on video? I all I saw was that, that Kate won. There was no uh, discussion about foot maneuvers. There was that whoever was, wins, that and was, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> that was you're redeemed. Uno más tiempo. A crowd. They want to see who wins. I know. Yeah. <laughs> the championship. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How does it feel to be the champion? Amaze balls, guys. <laughs> Africa wins! <laughs> oh. Africa for the win, bitches! <laughs> On that note... <sighs> that was awesome. Only a dollar to park the car and one dollar per person to get in. And we had gotten told by a lovely lady in Quito to get here early before all the tour buses arrive. So become before nine, which I believe we did. Before 10. Before 10, yeah. And it's just now 10 o'clock and people are just now starting to show up. So that was excellent advice. We had the whole place to ourselves. We did, it was fun. Good and times? It, and it was free to see me pull out of the zip line today. <laughs> Laugh her asses off. <laughs> free, extra free entertainment. Yeah. Unfortunately, we, one for the team, <laughs> we didn't get the blue skies, but no. hey. We had fun though. Yeah. That was good. Cool. Oh, there it is. Pilon Diablo. Hiking to a waterfall can be wet. And we're still ahead of the crowds, which is good. Yes, parking lot's fairly empty. This is good. Let's go get wet. Camera <laughs> switch. Oh, there we go. You know, if you're in like a national park or some adventure park sort of thing, they charge a ridiculous amount for drinks and food. But here it's like an ice cream is 50 cents and a beer is a dollar. It's not. And an adult is 150. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about pricing. <laughs> Your turn, Kate. Somebody forgot their rain jacket. Uh, and somebody <laughs> forgot their walking shoes. We're, We're so, so prepared. prepared. <laughs> I'll check while I'm walking. Keep you in the front. <laughs> that footage better be rock solid, Steve. <laughs> Definitely rocky. <laughs> I don't know about the solid parts. You've got this. I'm learning, guys. I'll get you. <laughs> They're training me. Look at how pretty that is. Ah, oh, crap. See all that water? Ah. Oh. 
Dang it! You're gonna be soaked. There's lots of waterfalls within the 60 kilometer route between the towns of Banos and Puyo. But this one, this is one of the biggest. It's the cauldron of the devil, a roaring beast of a waterfall, and it's almost 80 meters high. Intensio! Taking the camera. Dollar <laughs> fifty a person, a dollar to park. Totally worth it. As you can tell, it's a wet experience. <laughs> and I asked the guy, it was totally fun. Yeah, I asked the guy. I said, "How busy is it? How many people in a day?" And he said, "On a day like today, where it's kind of off season, a hundred, a hundred and fifty, maybe two hundred, He said. But on a busy day, it could be up to 800, 1,000 people, and there will literally be a line, a queue, all the way down to there. All the way down, all the way up to the, all the way down. It's incredible. So, we got lucky. Adventure of the day. A cerveza adventure. Cerveza adventure. Cerveza on an adventure. Aventura de cerveza. See. This is the local hangout. We're the only one that brought booze, but that's fine. <laughs> it's kind of a cool spot with the river and the town for our last little draw. And the bungee jumpers. And the bungee jumpers. Yes, yeah. yeah, so we have entertainment. That's pretty funny. <laughs> like flying sawfish. <laughs> I totally love hanging out. Yeah, see? Told you. I guess what's up? Not about it. What's your WhatsApp number? <laughs> Tomorrow we'll be sailors again. It's our last night as road warriors, and this just feels right. Hanging out, making friends, dangling our feet, and sipping our beers while maniacs scream as they leap off the bridge above us.